Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we are one last time going to talk about that major upcoming snowstorm that could drop 10, 12 inches plus for some of the New England states. For today's comment of the day, I want to know which location do you think we'll end up seeing the most snowfall? Likely it'll be a mountain range, that's the only hint I'll give you, so let me know which mountain range you think we'll likely see the most snowfall from this major snowstorm. Now let's get right into this video, and first things first, we're taking a look here at our simulated radar. We're going to take a look at the NAM 3KM this time because obviously things are starting out today, so we need to look at a higher resolution version because we are so close to this event. As you can see, this is at about 12 p.m. probably here according to our NAM 3KM model, and it'll be all rain. We're going to see heavy rain, moderate to heavy rainfall for some regions here by about 12 p.m., but by the time I reach about 2 p.m., you can see some snowfall, some little blue dots there on the map showing up there for some areas in New York there. Uh, let's just move this on, and this is going to be approximately 4 p.m. today, and as you can see, the Catskills and the Adirondacks really get going with this snowfall very early on uh, here on our NAM 3KM model. We see heavy, moderate to heavy rainfall going on to the east of this. Also, look at the Green Mountains. You see little tiny blue dots in there. So that is those very high elevation mountaintops there getting some snowfall to begin things here with this snowstorm. By the time we reach about 8 p.m. here on Thursday, April 15th still, you can see that the Adirondacks are still seeing some snowfall. That at The Catskills regions are kind of coming to an end here. But look at the Berkshires and the Green Mountains there. We see that blue expanding there and reaching lower elevation regions now to where even the hilly regions in between the very high mountaintops are seeing snowfall. We also see the White Mountains getting involved of New Hampshire there as well. We see lots of precipitation to the south, and this is only going to get snowier as we continue on. So let's just take this towards approximately 11 p.m. there on Thursday. So ending the day tonight here, you can see that this is going to be the Berkshires, the Adirondacks, kind of coming to an end there for the Adirondacks. Then we see the Green Mountains all the way up through in Vermont, Vermont there, and then we also see western New Hampshire, especially southwestern New Hampshire, getting a lot of snowfall as well. All right, now let's go ahead and take this towards about maybe 2 a.m. here on Friday, April 16th. So we're moving into very, very early tomorrow morning. And as you can see, still some snowfall for some of the Catskills. Snowfall showers, I would say. Same story with the Adirondacks. But we see moderate to heavy snowfall there throughout all of Vermont, most of New Hampshire, and a lot of Massachusetts as well. Now even stretching as far south as northern Connecticut as well. Those black shades are very, very dark blue shades is indicating very heavy snowfall at this point and it is going to last a very long time as this storm stalls out right near the coast of new england we're going to take a look at that on the european model we will be able to see a much better view of that happening we're going to take a look at that after this now what we're going to do here is we are going to move on and we're going to take a look at when this snowstorm is really going to get going and now it even looks like potentially areas near boston or in boston and even south of boston and massachusetts could get some snowfall, uh, also areas in Rhode Island. So we're going to have to take a look at that in just a moment. Now here we are taking a look, and this is going to be approximately 7 a.m. there on Friday, so very early in the morning. Uh, and you can see that there's still some snowfall going on for the Adirondacks down way south of there as well through New York. Uh, we also see all of Vermont seeing some snowfall, most of New Hampshire seeing some snowfall, all of western Massachusetts and northern Connecticut getting some snowfall as well. Very heavy in certain spots. Uh, but as we move towards approximately 2 p.m. here on Friday, the NAM model wants to say something crazy here. It shows a lot of this snowfall, first off for almost all of Vermont still, all of New Hampshire, a lot of Maine, but now almost all of Massachusetts as well, including Boston seeing very heavy snowfall here by this point the northern half there of Rhode Island, and then even northeastern uh, Connecticut seeing some of that snowfall as well. Very interesting solution here. And I will tell you, you want to take this with a bit of a grain of salt because this is the only model showing this at this point, and we are like hours away from this one starting. Very, very shortly this one will be underway. Uh, so you're going to want to take this with a grain of salt. I wanted to take a moment real quick to remind you that we just made a Patreon post this morning about another upcoming potential Northeast snowstorm. You can check that out on the Patreon page. It's only $3 and you only have to sign up for one month. So I think it would be worth checking out. We make awesome posts over there very frequently. So I would highly recommend you go check that out today. That's going to be in the description and in the pinned comments down below. Let's just move this on a frame. And as you can see, by the time we're reaching about... 7 p.m. here on Friday, it's going to be the same story. So we're taking a look already at a pretty prolonged period 
of moderate to heavy snowfall for Rhode Island, eastern Massachusetts, a lot of New Hampshire, and now western Maine getting involved. Also more of Connecticut. So this storm is just really uh, getting underway here. And then by the time we reach about maybe 12 a.m. here, look at that. Still ongoing here. And it's getting colder as we reach the nighttime hours there, Friday into Saturday. So as you can see, the coastal regions of Maine, a lot of New Hampshire there, and then a lot of eastern Massachusetts, and then Rhode Island and Connecticut still seeing that moderate to heavy snowfall. By the time we reach 4 a.m., still going on for eastern Massachusetts, even more so there here by this point. Uh, also coastal regions of New Hampshire and all of the coast of Maine as well, seeing some moderate to heavy snowfall. Very interesting to see this occurring, obviously, on a model like this. Uh, and it's, like I said, very, it's by itself at this point. So we're going to want to take it with a grain of salt. We're going to, we're going to look at the other models here in a moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on. We're going to take a look at what the RGEM model has to say, the European model has to say, and then we're going to get into the total snowfall from multiple models. I think five or six models we're going to take a look at the total snowfall amounts and just get multiple opinions coming up in just a moment. All right, now here we are taking a look at the RGEM model, and this one is significantly different. The RGEM model and the Canadian model, they are related, by the way. The RGEM model is the high-resolution version of the Canadian model. They are both calling for minimal amounts of snowfall compared to the rest of the model. So they're kind of by themselves as well uh, with what they have to show for this snowstorm. We can see a 994 millibar low pressure center there over southern uh, Massachusetts there with some snowfall for the Green Mountains, the Berkshires, some of the White Mountains there as well in New Hampshire. But by the time I reach about... 7 p.m. here on Friday, you can see it's really just hardly a lot of snowfall, not enough cold air, and by the time we reach the afternoon, late evening, or sorry, late afternoon, early evening hours here of Saturday, you can see it's all rain. So very minimal forecast there from the RGEM model. There's still a lot of uh, confusion from the models, and we're really seeing more disagreement than we saw yesterday. I'll talk about that in a moment. Here's the European model, and this is going to be by about 3 p.m. here on Thursday, April 15th. You can see the Adirondacks getting underway. By the time we reach about maybe 11 p.m. there on Thursday, you can see the Green Mountains, the Berkshires, and even mountainous regions of New Hampshire getting some snowfall now. And by the time we reach approximately 8 a.m. here on Friday, April 16th, you can see that snowfall is reaching further south. Now we're seeing Connecticut get involved, Rhode Island get involved, a lot more of Vermont and New Hampshire, as well as New York, getting some of that moderate to heavy snowfall. So this one's a lot closer to the NAM model, but it's further west. You can see that we're not seeing that mixing head into uh, eastern Massachusetts, nowhere near Boston is seeing snowfall. You're going to have to go probably like 30 miles before you see snowfall from there. But by the time we reach about 3 p.m., you can see it does get awfully close. It does get awfully close. We have a 991 millibar low pressure center basically over Martha's Vineyard uh, and Cape Cod and Nantucket, all of those areas there. Uh, we see that snowfall reaching well into Rhode Island, Connecticut, and very close to Boston there, moderate to heavy snowfall with this system. Uh, and then we can see by the time we reach about maybe 4 or 5 a.m. here on Saturday, you can see we don't ever really get snowfall for Boston. So this is very close to the NAM, what the NAM was showing, uh, but still quite different at the same time. Uh, coastal Maine does get some of that snowfall, but by the time we're reaching about maybe 11 a.m. there on Saturday, you can see we kind of get some mixing issues there near the coast. I think this is a lot more of an accurate and a more realistic uh, depiction here of what the European model is showing. So let's just go ahead and break down all of our models total snowfall maps. Again, I posted about that second snowstorm on the Patreon page. So if you want to see that, you have to head over there. We're taking a look at the total snowfall here from our NAM 3K model first off. And as you can see, if you're anywhere in the grays, you're expecting a dusting, if anything. Within the lighter blues, 2 to 6 inches of snow. Within the purple, 6 to 10. And then within the pinks, we're looking at 10 to 20 inches of snow. And we even see those teal colors there for New Hampshire uh, and maybe even some of Massachusetts. That were, that's where we're at 20 inches plus. I had a lot of people complaining yesterday that I called this storm a major snowstorm, uh, and I think it's pretty self-explanatory that if we're expecting 10 inches plus, if we're expecting, I mean, even especially 15 to 20 inches of snow to be possible, it's obviously a major snowstorm. I don't really understand the problem that people have with that. If it's a major snowstorm, I'm going to call it a major snowstorm. In this case, I think it's looking like it could potentially be a major snowstorm, even likely a major snowstorm. All right, with that off my chest, let's just go ahead and move on to the RGEM model. And this one's showing a lot less snowfall here. We see the purples and pinks for some of those mountain ranges, including the White Mountains, the Green Mountains, and then those hilly regions there in southwestern New Hampshire, straight down through central Massachusetts. That's a very hilly region as well. Uh, but really outside of that, it's mostly a just a high elevation snowstorm. 
The European model kind of agrees, actually. We, we do see those 10 to 15-inch amounts. Again, a major snowstorm here for Vermont and Berkshires, as well as those mountain ranges in the White Mountains. And again, those southwestern regions of New Hampshire down through the central regions of Massachusetts. So we do see some agreement here. The GFS model has it a lot more widespread, as you can see, for many regions in between as well. But it is a lower resolution model, so who knows if it's actually thinking that's what's going to happen or if it just is too low resolution. Here's the Canadian model, and it looks a lot like the RGEM because, again, they are related. So for our confidence tab, we're still at a 5 out of 6. I don't think we're ever going to upgrade to a 6 out of 6 for this one because the models just disagree. They're not agreeing, and it's such a rare event this late in April for southern New England to be talking about potential snowstorm. Uh, so it's going to be kind of, like, hard to predict at this point. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, which model do you think will be the most accurate? And Jim Thompson said... European model will be the more accurate, and I definitely agree. I think the European model is onto something. It's been showing a consistent solution for the past couple of days, and it is known for being the best model. For all of those reasons, I think it will be the best model for this snowstorm, but it might not be. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, Property Damage, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Alan Belemo, Adam S., Larry the Pan, Donnie Carnes, Cameron Marshall, and Aiden Mattis. Alongside our Diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Alan Cherry, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotaleso, Michael Buell, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Kellen Manhart, It's Jay, Sidney Klein, Mark J., Luke Fligo, Garys, and John Qualisi. If you would like to be a part of this patron end screen of the day, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. Anyway, for our channel members highlight of the day, I would like to thank all of you for supporting the channel as well, but especially our weather top dog, Hair Farms One, and then our super fan, Phoenix Nimitz. If you would like to join this, you can do so by supporting the channel and clicking that button next to the subscribe button today and checking it out today. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button. Be sure to comment to help the YouTube algorithm out. Be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content, and I will see you guys in the next video.